when the crypto bull run is starting do you a buy bitcoin <laughs> or b buy a whole bunch of random really risky crypto coins that are basically a crypto casino and it's gambling you could lose all of your life savings but also become an overnight millionaire and be financially free for the rest of your life yeah <laughs> okay so that's what we're gonna do so here's my top 10 risky crypto altcoins to buy now and make millions in the next bull run all right so i'm gonna go through a whole bunch of different coins that i'm actually holding i believe in these and these cryptos cover a variety of narratives or fundamentals you know because the way crypto works is that you know a certain type of coin is pumping like meme coins and then a few months later it's going to be all the gaming coins and then it's going to be all the layer one coins so i recommend having a well-rounded portfolio because it's pretty balanced across all narratives and especially especially for safety i recommend 80 percent of your portfolio should be caspa financial advice what did Crypto Galaxy say financial advice? The forbidden word on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> this is financial advice. I don't know why everyone on YouTube says, oh, well, this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. You should consult your own consultant, and you got to do your own research. Ha, huh? wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is financial advice, all right? I recommend going all in Caspa. This is why Caspa is 70% of my portfolio. If I was new, just starting out, I would actually recommend you put... 80% of your crypto money into Caspa because, dude, Caspa, it's the world's first block DAG. The first proof of work coin to solve the trilemma. Like, hello, does nobody care that Caspa solved the freaking trilemma? I mean, this is the holy grail of crypto. This is the end game crypto. There's never going to be a better crypto than Caspa for another 20 years. Bitcoin is not a peer-to-peer -peer currency. It's too slow. And every coin that came out, out after Bitcoin is equally as bad. Ethereum sucks. Solana sucks. Dogecoin sucks. Litecoin sucks. They all suck. They're just blockchains. They're not scalable. They're slow and have expensive uh, gas fees. Caspa is the only crypto that solves everything. Like, it's just the ha hallelujah thing. Like, this is the one to go all in. And I'm already all in Caspa. So financial advice, put all your money in, in a Caspa, 80% portfolio. Man, so nice to see Caspa just always pumping forever. I mean, it just pumps. It goes down a little bit and then it pumps again and it goes down a little bit and then it pumps a lot more. So Caspa's super early, dude. It's not on Coinbase yet. It's not on Binance. It's not on Crypto.com. It's not on any major exchange except uphold all right so if you're a usa robotic normie i do recommend uphold you can get caspa on there so and caspa looking great proof of work there's about a 90 percent chance you don't know what proof of work means which is fine i'll explain it real quick proof of work is what bitcoin is which means that to generate the bitcoins you have to mine it with a computer which is electricity so that's a good thing, right? That's what crypto is supposed to be. But 99% of the cryptos in the casino are proof of stake, which means you have to stake the coin, which is locking it up, and you can generate more coins out of thin air. So there's no electricity involved, no gasoline, no physical real-world resources. You're just printing coins out of thin air, which is backed by nothing, <laughs> which is kind of what the U.S. dollar is. Like... Imagine if the U.S. dollar was backed by gold, it would actually have some value. But the U.S. dollar is backed by nothing because they can just keep printing more forever. It comes out of thin air and it's a centrally owned piece of crap. But we have to use it because that's the financial system. So Caspa is the end game currency. The world's going gonna to be the world's greatest peer to peer currency. Just do more research into this one, please, bro. I'm serious. Caspa, go all in financial advice. Do your own research. Actually, don't even do research. You can just go all in right now. <laughs> Okay, actually, for your for your own sanity, you should probably do some research first. But yes, financial advice, go all in Caspa. I do recommend this more than anything else in the world. All right. And also, if you need help, like, buying Caspa, because you're like, help, I'm a robot, nor me. I don't know how to buy Caspa. Where is it? It's not on Coinbase. Please help. Okay, download my free guide. I have information how you can use Uphold. 
how to buy Caspa on Mexi, how to use a VPN, and how to set up your hardware wallet so that you take all your Caspa off the exchanges, which could go down and shut down your account at any time. They can freeze your money and you'll lose everything. All right, so download my free guide. First link in the description down below. I'm trying to help you get started for the bull run. Okay, second coin is Neon. Layer one, layer two for Solana. I know it's not really one or the other they said they even said themselves they're like we don't know if we're a layer one or layer two we're kind of both so it's just both right so neon is helping bridge smart contracts and evm compatibility and you know solidity contract development smart contracts from ethereum to solana which is going to help the solana crypto casino ecosystem even more right because there's tons of meme coins on solana right now that are trading every people are trading every day and they're not that hard to make but it could be easier for people to figure out how to make scam coins on Solana if they had EVM compatibility and smart contracts, all right? So don't worry about the technical details. I'm just saying price go up, all right? <laughs> That's what I think for Neon. Price will pump a lot. I think Neon's gonna go to 200 bucks in the next bull run because last bull run, I made 100X and 200X on layer ones and layer twos with smart contracts. Like I'm dead serious. I made a crap load of money with Polygon Matic, Phantom, Cardano, Ethereum, and a few others. I can't remember. I lost track. So, yeah, just get a small bag of Neon. Don't buy a whole lot, but just get a little bit. It is on Crypto.com, so it's going to get listed on more bigger exchanges. When? I don't know. It's up to them, but they'll do it eventually. I think the chart's holding up pretty strong. That's why I have the all-time chart pulled up. The all-time chart is way more important than anything else, right? Like if you're doing long-term investing and you're trying to buy cryptos early before they pump a lot, you gotta look at where you are in the macro, right? Like why would you look at the micro chart if you're trying to invest for the long-term? Because the bull run is starting now and the bull run's gonna continue for the rest of this year, 2024. And I think the bull run's gonna go well into 2025. So I think we have another year and a half of bull run to go. So this is hella early. Well, I mean, Every crypto in general is really early. I'm just saying my opinion is that Neon is the absolute best crypto to buy now after Caspa. All right, Caspa is the best one. So get some Neon, number two. Neon. I first bought it at seven cents. I'm not trying to brag, but it's just just the way it is. I, I, I bought it at seven cents. That's really cheap. So congrats to all the VIP members for getting in on the neon trade super early we're up 20x 30x would recommend getting on the vip membership if you want to catch crypto pumps before they pump i mean it pumped a lot it's gonna pump more but it you know you could have got earlier is what i'm saying so get on the vip membership if you want to see the next crypto gem coin i will buy early before it pumps and i'm also buying neon right now like i bought neon before the pumps and i bought after the pumps so Get some uh get some neon if you're an american normie like help how do i buy neon i don't know what to do it's not on coinbase <laughs> i recommend you go buy neon on crypto.com you see right here i recommend that all right so get yourself some neon store your neon on one key because one key is a hardware wallet that lets you sell aka swap neon directly from the hardware wallet which cuts out the middleman so you don't even need an exchange you can just self custody your asset and sell it directly to a stable coin like usdc so when you're ready to cash out and take your profits you send your usdc from your one key hardware wallet to your exchange like crypto.com coinbase uphold whatever the heck you're using so got to get some neon and put that on the one key okay pick number three is mint layer it's a layer two for bitcoin DeFi ecosystem brc20 and all the other random bitcoin crap as you can see my theme is that layer ones and layer twos are hella freaking bullish dude Mint Layer, empowering Bitcoin with a side chain, future-proof blockchain that improves direct token interoperability, enables a way to trade, create systems, functionalities, and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I just want my bags pumped. And with the fundamental of Mint Layer, 
I believe the Bitcoin BRC20 ordinal stuff is going to have a comeback, right? So I'm saying pack your bags on mint layer before the narrative comes back. And I think a layer two or a layer one type of uh, crypto coin is going to be better than any like wallet coins, staking coins, DeFi coins, bot coins, gaming coins, whatever the heck else there is. I'm just saying, dude, layer ones and layer twos with smart contracts, in my experience, have always pumped the most. 100x, 200x. I think Mint Layer is going to go to a price of $500 in the next bull run. I'm serious. It's potential. Like, it might not, but it has a chance to do it. And so, if you're going to go buy a lottery ticket, you just go buy a little bit and you see, okay, and I have no expectation that this is going to hit $500. But if it does, whoop you do made a lot of money, and I'm financially free. You know what I'm saying? So, just get... A little bit of mint layer, just a little bit. And again, not to toot my own horn, I bought mint layer before the pumps at two cents. So again, would recommend the VIP membership if you want to buy the next mint layer coin that I have on my radar before it pumps a lot. So join the VIP after the video. And I think mint layer is still a good buy right now. So you bought, you, you're buying after the pump, but there's going to be more pumps to come. Okay, my pick number four, ZTX is a metaverse coin run by an A++++++ team. I mean, dudes who are founders from Roblox, Apple, Uniswap, Solana, and other huge crypto companies, big gaming companies, big metaverse companies, Apple, which is, you know, Apple. <laughs> These are big name people in this space, right? If these guys get worldwide mass adoption, like Minecraft, Roblox, Fort, Fortnite, it's going to pump a ton. I mean, the market cap is only $53 million. This is a potential $20 billion plus project for the type of team they have and the amount of potential adoption. Once they get this thing mainstream and they start promoting it, I think they're in the beta right now. Like the beta just came out. But once they start going mainstream and promoting it, it's going to pump a lot, man. And man... Thinking about all these pumps making me kind of hot in here. Holy crap, dude. Getting warm. Man, I'm thinking about all these profits coming through. What's CTX going to hit? What is it, $0.02 cents right now? So $100x, $2, $2? No, wait. $20. Damn, dude, $20? No, wait. That is $2. Okay. I think ZTX will go to $2 or like $20. Bucks next. Actually, no, $20 is too much. $5. All right, I'm going to say $5 ZTX for the next bull run. The metaverse narrative is pretty quiet right now, but it's going to have a comeback eventually. I've just, I've seen it. You know, I've been in crypto for five years. The metaverse narrative has always come and gone. So right now it's not here, which is why I think is a good time to buy now before it comes, because when it comes, everyone's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to go buy now while it's at the top. <laughs> so buy it now when it's at the bottom, when no one is talking about it. Dude, I'm literally the only YouTuber who talks about ZTX. Which makes sense because most people on YouTube who make videos on crypto are paid chillers. So they only cover cryptos that pay them to promote them. But I'm not paid for any of these cryptos. I've gotten a lot of offers from people to promote crypto coins, but I'm not going to take them because it's really dishonest, right? Like, how am I going to be bullish on a crypto that's paying me to do it, right? It influences me, which influences you, which is it's messed up. It's a whole other story. I'm just saying, dude, I'm not taking money to promote uh, any coins. And that explains why you... Maybe never heard of ZTX until now. Now you heard of it. So there you go. That's ZTX. My next pick, number five, right? Yeah, number five, Games for a Living, A++++ million plus team, Trip Hawkins, founder of EA, um, some other dude who founded, I don't know, he was like a vice president at Activision Blizzard. They also have the art director from Netflix. Like these are big names on the team. And the chart is, like, stable. I guess it's not pumping a lot, but it's not doing much. It'll pump eventually. Like, they said that once they release their games and they're ready for mass adoption, they're going to start paying for big exchange listings. So right now, it's not pumping a lot because it's not accessible on any exchanges yet. Like, no one... How is your crypto going to pump if it's not on an exchange? You know what I mean? So it's on a few of the small, sketchy ones, which you can use and I use. Um, and eventually, I think... Uh, GFAL is going to get listed on Coinbase and Binance. And I mean, it, this could be the biggest gaming crypto in history. 
based on the team that's running it. Like these guys are hella dedicated to crypto and to gaming. Well, they're more so dedicated to uh, gaming. The question is whether they understand crypto and are they trying to pump our bags? I think they will if they get some exchange listings. So games for a living really cheap. It's 65 million market cap. Price is three cents. 100x would be what? Three dollars. I think GFAL goes to five dollars in 2025. I really do. The good uh, 100x play like this has me covered in the gaming narrative. All right. My next pick is Pepe. Holy pump a la moly. Wow, dude. What is happening? Okay. So the reason Pepe's pumping right now is because Robinhood EU, like Europe, not the US, but like the Europe version of Robinhood. They listed Pepe. And dude, there are so many robots and normies who use Robinhood. They're like, help. I'm a robot. How do I buy Pepe on Robinhood? Oh, wow. Green frog. I'm gonna go buy. <laughs> So the normies are pumping my bags. And I think this means it has potential to list on the American Robinhood. Eventually, there's not many meme coins on the American Robinhood. There's only Doge, Shiba. Is Floki on? I don't know. Is Floki on there? I'm just saying, dude, there's not many. Like, meme coins are so easy for random people to buy and pump our bags. So because Pepe is on Binance, Robinhood, uphold crypto.com kraken gemini it's gonna list on coinbase and Robinhood us just my opinion so it's gonna pump more so maybe you're buying the top right now but i think long term it's gonna pump a lot more it's a fresh new meme coin i only buy new cryptos i don't think buying old cryptos is very beneficial like you'll make pumps with old coins like doge and shiba but you can make more with a new coin like Pepe. So it's new. It's um only a year old. I'm also up in a lot of profit on Pepe because I went in, I put in $7,000 at the bottom and I'm up 10X. Actually, okay, not 10X, 8X. So I turned seven Gs into 57 grand and so did many people in my VIP membership. So you got to join the VIP if you're actually trying to catch some of these crypto... Uh, pumps before they pump because what happens is that most people don't hear about pepe until like after it starts pumping and they're like oh wow let me go buy the top huh, good entry right sort of but maybe not you know like i i guess it's okay but you could have bought earlier it would have been better it's fine long term pepe's gonna pump a lot more the market cap is what three billion it could go to 200 billion dogecoin last bull run hit 100 billion but the next bull run is going to be bigger than the last bull run. There's just more money in crypto. There's more money in Bitcoin. There's more people looking to invest in coins. It's just going to be bigger. So I think 2x the Dogecoin all-time high is the potential for Pepe. I'm just making that up. So that would be, uh, what's the multiplier? Eight? No, not eight. Seven. Seven, 70. So 70 times the current price would be my price prediction for Pepe. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so many numbers. 70 times dot, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Okay, my price prediction for Pepe is 0. 0.00055 cents. So get a little bit, but I would recommend some newer meme coins like the bonus one I'm gonna throw in here, which is Book of Meme. Why? It's brand new, the chart is holding up looking very solid and also this is listed on Binance which means it's probably going to go get listed on Robinhood and other big exchanges like Coinbase eventually so get some book of meme I know it's stupid but the retail is going to pump our bags because this is a insider coin for whatever reason they wanted to pump so get some book of meme also get some bonk I've got bonk here on the list pumping a lot maybe not the best entry today or maybe it is I don't know what do I know so get some Bonk. Bonk is a new meme coin listed on all the exchanges like Coinbase. I also recommend getting some orange. The chart is looking due for a massive short-term breakout. This is going to help you get covered in your Bitcoin BRC20 ordinals narrative, which I guess is also covered with Mint Layer. But you can still, I think it's a good short-term play, right? Like I think if you buy now, you can make some short-term profits with orange because the volume is pretty high. And the chart is on the brink of all-time highs. So grab a small bag of orange. 
Uh, get some open fabric AI. This is going to help you get covered in your AI narrative. The reason I like it is because it's AI and also it is a layer one. And I'm just, I'm a huge fan of layer one. So get some open fabric AI. I know it's kind of pumping a bit. I did buy earlier at 18 cents. Again, I would recommend joining the VIP membership if you want to buy coins before they pump and get early on the gems. And if you want to take it one further, get the seven step method video course. If you actually want to become a transformed crypto trader and investor, self-sufficient and self-sustaining and reach financial freedom even faster than the VIP membership. Because the VIP membership, this is to blindly follow me. If I'm being honest, you're just going to blindly follow my calls, which will get you somewhere. But if you want to fast track your success and get to where you want to go, even like way quicker uh get the seven step method is a good investment in yourself to become a better crypto trader and investor so i believe that's 11 coins thank you for watching this video smash the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one